Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing the dreaded black streaks, so come and join us. So black streaks on your caravan, there's nothing worse. It doesn't look very pleasant and it's even worse when you've spent all day cleaning it and polishing it and then the following morning you come to look at it and you've got black streaks everywhere. Or you've got black streaks after you've washed it and you can't get rid of them. Today I'm going to be showing you a few tips. Firstly, I'm gonna be explaining why you get black streaks and secondly, some ways to actually prevent black streaks and also, I'm going to be showing you a product from Caravan Magic, which actually removes black streaks, and it is a good product. But more about that later. Now, before we get into any cleaning, and uh, I show you some tips of mine, I thought I'd show you some of the tools that I actually use. Now, first of all, I have a traditional good old toothbrush, which is great. I have a nylon brushed detail brush. And I have these three, in fact I've got more than this, uh, but I'll just want to use these three today. These are hog's hair brushes. Now I use these on more or less any clean and every clean that I actually do. Uh, this one has got a, it's got a split in the casing now, but to be fair it is battered, I've used it a lot. These are really good, um, in, especially in delicate areas as well because the bristles are quite soft. Now I am going to be using two drill brushes. Now these drill brushes, we're not gonna be putting them on the drill itself. We're just gonna be using with our hands. And the final brush is a traditional awning rail cleaner brush. Now the products I'm gonna be using are the Caravan Magic Wash Wizard. Now I'm gonna be using uh, a small amount of this, in fact five mil is all I'm gonna be using in one litre of water, which is in this pump spray bottle. Now you can use any, any bottle really, uh, but uh, try and get one with at least uh, a litre of water in it. And then finally, if all else fails and we can't get rid of the black streaks, we're going to be using this. Now, this is Caravan Magic's black streak remover. And to be fair, I've actually been using it for a while because that's my mine. And uh, it does do a good job. Now, these two products, uh, along with a few others in another video that I'm going to be doing, are actually uh, sent free of charge from uh, Caravan Magic themselves. Um, now, they're not paying me to do this video. Uh, all the actual comments and findings that I make are my opinions and my opinions alone and they don't interfere with my content which is what I like. These are a UK company they're actually based in Aberdeenshire and uh, they make all their products uh, on site so uh, we're supporting a UK company as well which I think is really good. So where do black streaks come from? Well they come from the roof primarily because the roof is very rarely cleaned and as a result the dirt builds up and then when it rains it runs off the side of the caravan comes down the sides and it collects in areas such as the windows also around the door frames and the locks or anything that actually has a, a projection from the caravan and that includes simple things like your actual sticker so I'm going to show you a few of my tips on how to remove uh, the dirt which could cause a black streak. Now I'm not going to show you how to clean the caravan roof because we've done that once before but what we're going to do is we're going to look at the, the little nooks and crannies around where the dirt can collect and we're going to clean them off and if uh, we can't remove them like this stain here we're going to be removing that with some caravan magic black streak remover. So let's have a look at how I get into this and clean these. So this is the section I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate on, and I appreciate it, it's not high up, but uh, it, it is uh, actually an area which does uh, collect a lot of dirt. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're gonna take our pump spray bottle and we're going to spray quite generously the area that we're going to clean, like so. Now we're going to allow that to soak for a little while. Now first of all we're going to take our toothbrush and in this area where you can see the green we're going to gently scrub it away. As you can see it's lifting all the green and dirt off it now. 
Now go around all the actual section. Now be careful, if it is sealed, try not to damage the sealant around it. And if you're still unsure, get yourself one of the softer detail brushes like so, and get in there and give it a good clean. Oh, it's bringing up quite a lot of dirt out of this. Now as I don't have my hose pipe connected at the moment, I'm just going to use a damp cloth. So what we're going to do now is going to wipe all the muck off, like so. Getting all the little grooves in the plastic, like so. so. So the actual part itself now is nice and clean. This section here is just a little bit of Sikaflex that's uh, dribbled down. But uh, if you clean all these parts, you will uh, not have any issues or less issues with black streaks. Let me show you another thing. Now, if your caravan is made of alloy, it may be a two-piece alloy like this is. And this is another area where black streaks can build up. Uh, as you can see there, we've got the actual line. So what we're going to do is the same thing as we did with the actual section, the water section. And we're gonna spray that quite generously and leave it for a couple of minutes. Now taking my small hog's hair brush, what we're going to do is we're going to agitate in there now and clean around the actual reflector, but also up into the crevice where the two aluminium parts actually meet and also the awning rail itself on the side here. Now that's turned quite green so you can see how that's coming up now. So. What we would do now is rinse down with water, but as I said, don't have any. So we're going to be just using a damp cloth. This is a microfiber cloth. So there we are. We've now removed the dirt from that section. Now you would continue all the way along the caravan itself until all them sections are nice and clean. And it's same for the actual uh, decals themselves. So what we're going to do is spray on like so. Now what I find with decals, the best thing to do is use the toothbrush. So we're going to just go around the decal itself. Like so. Making sure we go into all the letter in it. Like that. And also the edges of the, the actual transfer as well. And don't forget, you've also got above, you've got the actual joining section on this caravan, so we're going to do that. Now, don't be afraid if you think that you've not cleaned it properly, have another go. I've just noticed on this one that uh, round the X and the U, it's still quite grotty. So again, we'll go back in with the brushes. Now, some people might think that this is a little bit over the top, but believe you me, the last thing you want to do is turn up on site and have black streaks all over your caravan and it look a bit of a mess. Also gonna use this deal gel brush as well. I tend to go around in circles with it. It does generally, generally lift it out. So there we go. I think you'll find that that's 
quite clean now, that will re reduce the amount of black streaks just by doing these little details. So now we're just going to take a look at the awning rail itself. I'm just going to spray this inside the channel. Now the awning rail brush itself, fit it in where you would normally fit your awning rail into the section like so. I've bent this a little bit because I find it easier uh, to actually use. And what I do is I rub it up and down inside the channel and also not forgetting the side sections here like so. Again, we would rinse down with water, but we're using this cloth for now. You know, if you want to, you can actually feed your cloth inside the awning rail, like so, and give it an extra wipe out. You can see the dirt that's come out of it. Now that dirt, obviously, would be on your caravan as a black streak. So that's how I clean the awning rail. Now a good area to also demonstrate is actually the lights. The light clusters do generally get quite dirty primarily because they're actually lower to the ground and they tend to pick a lot of dirt up uh, especially when it's raining from the road surface. So we've just sprayed on our cleaner and we're going to get in there now and give it a really good scrub. Try and get your brush as deep as you possibly can. See, it's also forming black streaks as we actually are talking now. Now I use a hog's hair brush on the actual glass. I don't use anything that's uh, abrasive, just a soft brush like that, and that will get a lot of the crud out. The other thing to consider, if yours has got um, screws like this has, make sure you go into the screw holes as well. Give it a good clean out. So, again, I would use my horse pipe actually to really get inside here and get all that dirt out and flush it out. But if you use this method as well as a horse pipe, you can see the dirt that's coming out there. And the black streaks underneath. You know, I would say that that's looking 10 times better than it was. So another main area for black streaks is the window rubbers. They get uh, very easily clogged up with dirt and they can uh, cause a lot of black streaks. So what we're going to do is we're going to spray a little bit of solution around the window seal itself. Now be careful with this because you don't want to overdo it and also at the same time you want to make sure it's clean too so what we're doing now is we're rubbing we're pressing against the caravan but we're also pushing that way as well and we're going round the actual rubber itself and as you can see there's quite a lot of dirt on there let's try a clean part and this is my caravan I should be ashamed of myself but yeah it does build up quite a lot round here, so make sure that you clean it quite well. Don't forget to do this section here, the top section, get that nice and clean as well. Now, a lot of people say, oh yeah, I, I, uh, I put uh, silicon on these and uh, I uh, actually get it all nice and lubed up because I don't want this to stick to the window, and, and that's quite right. But it depends on how much you put on. You only need a small amount of silicon actually on this rubber, on this side and on the top edge, not underneath here, to stop that sticking to this. And it will protect it as well. But 
if you start putting it all over the actual rubber itself, that's where the, the dirt will stick to the silicon and eventually you'll get the runs. So just put your any, any form of protection on it on the outer edge of the rubber here, like so. And that should help with black streaks. Now with this caravan, we've got a join in the awning rail. Now, on earlier vans, this was done quite a lot. And some modern vans, I know Coachman and Bailey and Eldis tend to, to use pieces rather than a whole section of awning rail. And the first place that the dirt builds up is actually in this, in this joint here. Now, I hope that the camera's picking it up, but there's one here right by my finger. So we're gonna have a go with a black street remover to see if we can get rid of it. So I've not used a lot and I'm just gonna rotate it round on the brush into the streak itself, like so. I can already see the dirt lifting from it. Now, this caravan in particular is my neighbour's and uh, I know he gives, he gives me permission to use it. Uh, it does need a good clean. I'm gonna have to discuss uh, sorting that out with him at some point, but I'm hoping that that has picked up on camera and showed you how it's removed that black streak and the dirt's inside the cloth. But to actually, you'll always get these black streaks on this caravan because this section here is full of dirt and the awning rail is also blocked with dirt as well. So because that's a gap, and the rain gets in, it's just going to build up with dirt and then run down here. And there you go, that's a classic black streak. So I've just shown you a few preventative measures uh, when cleaning the caravan, uh, making sure all the nooks and crannies and the decals are nice and clean. But also there is another product and that product is an awning rail protector. I've got a bit here actually. Uh, I use it on the awning rail. Um, both sides and I also use it on the draft skirt rail as well below. Um, it does help, you'll be surprised. It gives it a little bit more of a channel so that if your roof is dirty, it'll run off and not run so much down the sides. It won't remove black streaks completely, but it will help towards it. Uh, it's quite cheap. Uh, I think you can get it in 12 meter strips. Now I run it from where my actual uh, towing jacket starts all the way around. I even run it to the bottom as well because I just think that anything is better than black streaks. So that's how I use it. I think it's about uh, 20 quid. Um, I'll, uh, I'll leave a link to it below, uh, but it is good stuff. One thing I have noticed when I've been valeting caravans, a lot of people leave it on and never take it off. When you're washing the caravan, take it off and soak it in some warm water because this stuff actually will go brittle af after a time and when you start pulling on it it'll either stick in the awning rail or you'll not be able to get it out as easy so the best thing to do is when you're washing the caravan throw it in a, a bucket of warm water give that a clean and then put it back into the awning rail itself well everyone that's how i get rid of black streaks i hope the tips and tricks that i've shown you and some of the tools are gonna to be handy to help you have a go and get rid of your black streaks. If you can't get rid of your black streaks, then I do recommend this, uh, the Caravan Magic Black Streak Remover. It does what it says, and it does a good job of it too. Uh, this is a second bottle for me. Um, I purchased it off Amazon. I'll leave a link to where I got it from, and also leave a link to uh, Caravan Magic's website if you're interested in any of their other products. Speaking of which, this. This is the Wash Wizard and it is brilliant. Uh, very impressed with this. It leaves a really deep shine afterwards. Uh, quite impressed with that and it's concentrated. You only need a capful in a bucket and it's gonna do a good job. Well, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you'll join us again real soon, but in the meantime, bye for now.